मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू ऑल फोर सी लर्निंग क्लासेस दिस इज जोलॉजी सब्जेक्ट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द कार्डिया का आउटपुट कार्डिया का आउटपुट इज द इंक्लूड्स कार्डिया का आउटपुट कैन बी रिटर्न एज द स्ट्रोक वैल्यूम इन टू स्ट्रोक वैल्यूम इन टू नंबर ऑफ बीट्स पर मिनट बीट्स पर मिनट दिस इज अ द कार्डिया का आउटपुट दैट इज ए ह्यूमन बींग्स हैव फाइव थाउजेंड मिली लीटर्स ऑफ द ब्लड दिस फाइव थाउजेंड मिली लीटर्स ऑफ द ब्लड विच इज पंपड आउट फ्रॉम द हार्ट इन अ मिनट ऑफ टाइम इज अ वॉट नेम इट बी द कार्डिया का आउटपुट so this cardiac output which includes stroke volume stroke volume means the amount of the blood that is pumped out of the each ventricle per a beat is name it to be the stroke volume which is a uh, 70 ml which is a uh, 70 ml and the number of heart beats varied uh, 70 280 if we take it into consideration at an average of uh, 72 beats so it come close it comes to 5040 milliliters of the blood which is pumped per minute from the human heart it is received and pumped this involve the cardiac output and this is the way we can calculate the if a cardiac output is given number of the beats per minute can be calculated and humans have the ability to alter the stroke volume as well as the cardiac output as well generally this uh, is because of who by means of the specialized nodal tissue which is named to be the nodal tissue which is san and uh, avian sino atriolar node and uh, atrio ventricular node the nodal tissues are specialized cardiomyocytes which generate an action potential or depolarization without any external stimuli that is what uh, we treated as san sino atriolar node is a pace maker whereas atrio ventricular node is the pace setter or relay point this is considered to be the auto rhythmicity of the heart auto means self that is it is a self conducting a depolarization an action potential or generated on its own that's the reason why pace maker is said to be the the initiation of the heartbeat and it is a generating action potential without involving external stimuli which is said to be the auto rhythmicity that is action potential is a depolarizing the heart for pumping of the blood from the atria to ventricle from ventricle to different parts and collecting the blood from different parts into the atria this is initiated by san sino atriolar node and uh, that's what uh, auto rhythmicity however the heart uh, on its own the modified cardiac muscles present in the myocardium which generated the action potential that is uh, the san can generate an action potential at uh, 0.67 so at 6 0.6 seconds uh, of time period so the probable uh, number of the beats per a minute or 100 but it is varied from 70 to 80 at an average however the heart cardiac muscle on its own initiate the heart beat but it can be regulated by endocrine system uh, as well as the neurons that is sympathetic nervous system sympathetic uh, nervous system increases the heart beat nervous system increases the heart beat whereas parasympathetic nervous system 
parasympathetic nervous system nervous system decreases the heartbeat this is the important point to remember that is the sympathetic nervous system increases the heartbeat whereas parasympathetic decreases besides that the endocrine hormones adrenaline increases the heartbeat so however auto rhythmicity of the heart generate the action potential without external stimuli but it is regulated and uh, controlled by means of the endocrine system and the nervous system vagus nerve of the parasympathetic nervous system reduces the heartbeat whereas sympathetic nerves what increases this is how we see the regulation controlled by the nerves as well as the hormones and uh, the initiation is by its own muscle without external stimuli so it is said to be the autorhythmicity now in fact uh, what we discussed is a stroke volume human beings have an ability particularly the athletes can uh, change uh, alter their uh, the stroke volume and the cardiac output that is as the exercise when somebody is at an exercise definitely the number of the beats increase this is what uh, we do discuss and we have discussed the stroke volume equation is stroke volume is equal to stroke volume is equal to end diastolic volume minus end systolic volume in fact the end diastolic volume means the amount of the blood that remain in the ventricle after the diastole which is a 120 ml 120 ml and end systolic volume is end systolic volume is 50 ml that is the amount of the blood remain in the ventricle after the contraction this results in a uh, the stroke volume which is 70 ml now you are clear end diastolic volume minus uh, end systolic volume 120 ml minus 50 ml is 70 ml so stroke volume is 70 ml the point to remember the stroke volume is nothing but the amount of the blood that is pumped out of the ventricle in each beat but the point to remember that is the filling of the ventricle in a diastole phase 70 percentage by systole it is 30 percentage which means out of the 70 ml 49 ml is passively filling a passively filling whereas the 21 ml is uh, actively do you got my point what i am uh, summarizing 70 ml is the stroke value that is the amount of the pump amount of the blood pumped out from the ventricle when it fills it sends out the filling of the ventricle is by 70% during the diastole phase whereas 30% uh, by atriolar systole recall your memory we discussed that the atriolar systole accounts for 30 percentage which means in 70 ml what is the 30 percentage 70 ml in which a uh, 30 percentage is 21 ml which means atriolar systole accounts for 21 ml which means by contraction 21 ml water filled and uh, by diastolic phase 49 ml which is in a relaxed stage that's the reason why passive filling of the heart uh, is 49 ml and active filling is 70 21 ml that's what 49 plus 21 it is 70 ml which is a stroke value and uh, this is the point to stress more and focus more the due reason is in recent 2019 exam there was a question a person with the cardiac output of 
liters of the blood i repeat in 2019 recently held exam the question asked was the a person had the cardiac output of a 5000 milliliter where the end diastolic volume the volume after the the volume after the diastole is a 100 ml and uh, the volume after the systole is 50 ml then calculate uh, the number of the beats per minute in such an individual i repeat in 2019 one question asked a person with the cardiac output of 5 liters that is 5000 ml is what pumped out calculate the number of the beats in a such a individual with the, the volume of the blood after the diastole is 100 ml and volume of the blood after systole is 50 ml then calculate the number of the beats now concentrate here so the cardiac output is 5000 and uh, the volume of the blood after the diastole it is what nothing but the 100 ml so end diastolic volume uh, as per the so now first of all we have to calculate the stroke volume stroke volume equal to end diastolic volume here end diastolic volume is 100 ml right and uh, the volume of the blood after the systole is uh, 50 ml So 100 minus 50 is equal to 50 ml, which means stroke volume is 50 ml, and the cardiac output is cardiac output is equal to stroke volume into number of the beats. So we are given the cardiac output and stroke volume, and we are asked to find out the number of the beats. So 5000 milliliters is equal to 50 into question mark. Is it right? So, if we go for the calculation, 5000 milliliter by 50 is what uh, you are getting the number of the beats per minute. So, 5000 by 50 is equal to 100. So, 100 beats, and even you can also see 50 into 100 will be 5000. So, what question was asked? 5 liters or 5000 milliliters is the cardiac output. Calculate the number of the heartbeats in such a person with the five liters of the blood, where the volume of the blood after diastole is 100 ml and volume of the blood after systole is 50 ml. 100 minus 50, EDV is 100 and ESV is 50. 100 minus 50 is 50. 50 ml is the stroke volume and uh, cardiac output is equal to. Stroke volume into number of the beats. So 5000 is equal to 50 into question mark. Question mark in the sense we have to find out the number of the beats. So 5000 by 50 is equal to 100 beats. The answer was 100 beats. So this is how if we know the cardiac output we can calculate the number of the beats. If we given the stroke volume and uh, the number of the beats we can calculate the cardiac output. This is the summary of uh, the cardiac output which is very very important and uh, remind you of this uh, equation. Since uh, most of the students uh, have no idea about the stroke volume is equal to EDV minus ESV, there was uh, the Uh, pr problem faced by the students in this respect okay so cardiac output equal to stroke volume into number of the beats so for suppose if the cardiac output is 6300 in an individual then how many number of the beats stroke volume is uh, if not given we have to consider it is 70 70 into 90 will be 6300 cardiac output this is how we can go for the cardiac output after this we'll go for the ecg ecg refers to electrocardiogram electrocardiography generally the electrocardiography is electro cardiography is electrocardiography is a device whereas electrocardiogram is a graphical 
representation which means as per in CRT electrocardiograph is a device that records the electrical activity of the heart functioning whereas electrocardiogram is the record of the uh, electrical activity of the heart the record whatever the record we see is the electrocardiogram and the device that is used to detect the electrical activity of the heart is nothing but electrocardiography it is a device non invasive not harmful device which diagnostically it is uh, the one which uh, calculate the number of the beats per minute and electrical activity of uh, a person uh, heart functioning you might have seen uh, in some hospital the television show where there is a on a pictorial you, you might have seen uh, the pip 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 and a p a sound in a electrocardiogram the record of the electrical activity of the heart uh, in a hospital you might have heard uh, seen that uh, the sound like pip 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 p and the p is the sound indicates that a person is uh, going to be face the cardiac arrest <laughs> If the cardiac arrest takes place, uh, it is what the sound finally sees a P. Basically, we know that the lub and heart sounds, these are the two heart sounds already we discussed. Lub is the first heart sound and dub is the second heart sound. Lub is what uh, generated during uh, the vent, uh, atrial or systole and dub during the ventricular systole. Lub is the first heart sound for a long period, whereas that is 0.15 seconds. When it is a long period, low pitch, whereas the dub is the short period, 0.1 seconds, and is with a high pitch. And uh, the lub is produced due to the closure of the AV walls, and uh, the uh, second heart sound dub is uh, due to the closure of uh, the semilunar walls. If any damage to the bicuspid, tricuspid wall, the first, first heart sound is get disturbed or else the quality of the sound got disturbed. If the, these are the two sounds whose quality depends on the AV walls and the semilunar walls. If the AV walls are damaged, the first heart sound quality is disturbed. If the semilunar walls are damaged, the second heart sound is uh, the quality what get disturbed this is what we have seen and such electrical activity is uh, diagnosed measured in a device named to be the electrocardiograph and uh, this is the device in which electrical activity of the heart is uh, recorded such record is electrocardiogram this is a device where the three electrodes the standard standard uh, ECG where the three electrodes are used each to one each to the wrist and one to the ankle so three electrodes are used uh, one each to the wrist and another to the ankle whereas in a what is called uh, the Various uh, electrodes are used in a detailed uh, ECG. In a detailed uh, ECG, several number of the electrodes are used uh, keeping at the chest region for the detection of the electrical activity. This electrical activity in a ECG where the waves, waves, Next, the intervals, intervals, segments, complexes, segments and uh, complexes are discussed, complexes are discussed. I repeat, the 
ECG is uh, involving uh, the parts name it to be the waves, intervals, segments and uh, complexes. Now we will go for the details of uh, the ECG.